Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. We're uh, on our way to Dra Dravograd, I think. Dravograd, uh, where the Nilfgaardians Guardians have started attacking Lyria itself and uh, tried to take over. We killed one of their their uh, encampments. We cleared that out. Just gonna take a look at the side areas here before we move forward, just to clear it out of uh, any available resources before we move on just in case we lose those when we get to the castle and sadly in the back we have an abandoned farm where the ghouls are already feasting on the corpses of the dead so let's take a look at this puzzle war gives way to myriad odors char blood muck yet rotting flesh is the worst of it strong winds carry the stench far provoking fear in the hearts of simple folk and wetting the appetites of bloodthirsty monsters Eliminate all ghouls, use your leader's ability, hint, have faith in your most loyal units. So again, special rules, shorten battle, and um, yeah, the other thing. So let's go. So the enemy doesn't have any special things, no abilities. Aside from the ghoul, every three turns and turn start, consume a unit in your graveyard. And is the graveyard filled with whatever the fuck they want? Yeah, probably. Every two turns will turn sword, consume a unit from your graveyard and boost self poetry. Okay. So those get stronger and stronger as we go. Damage unit by 10 and adjacent units to it by 5. Destroy the highest units. So let's start off with the Lyrian Arbalest. So it's every every three turns. And the Algul does it every two turns, which means he's gonna do it in the next turn. So I'm gonna probably use Scorch on the all ghoul and then use the rest to kill the two ghouls. So let's just use Alzu's Thunder and destroy, uh, almost destroy one of the, no wait, wait, wait. It said trust in your most loyal units. So if I put the Lyrian Arbalest down one and damage that ghoul by one and then trigger the... So this is boosting that by four and they give it one armor to trigger all loyal abilities. There we go. And we damage that one with by two. So that goes to 24. Then also Thunder on one of the ghouls. And that takes him out. And the turn. So in one turn I'm gonna get a boosted ghoul. Which is sad because I can't do anything about that. So let's just use the Arbalests and end the turn. Hmm, I don't see me doing this like that. Uh, Lyrian Arbalest again. And then boost another ally. Yeah, but they keep damaging, yeah. Okay, so let's try that again. So wait a second, they all boost by 10 every time. What if I don't... What if there's a reason why they go for the all ghoul every time? What if you just need to use Scorch once every unit is the same damaging amount? So if I put down an Arbalest, attack the front unit, and then use Meave Longsword to just boost him and damage him again. Okay. So now it's at 23. Those two ghouls are going to go to 21 each. So if I now just... But I need to do 10 damages. Oh, wait. That is cool. Okay, so if I do this... And attack him again. Do that. And then... So next turn they're going to go to 21... But I need to damage something, don't I? We'll see, we'll see. We'll see where we go. So now they're at 31. If I use also Thunder on the front, Al Ghul, it goes to 21. Which means all of them are 21. And I end the turn. They don't do anything. And then I can use Scorch. So you don't need to use your... Leader ability. Uh, I mean, you only need to use it once. And then Scorch, and that's that's it. Okay. That was a, a bit of a subversion of expectations. There we go. Taken down. Let's loot all that. 
did need a few tries, but uh, nevertheless. Proclamation. Inhabitants of conquered territories are henceforth informed that any attempt to impede the imperial war effort shall be met with punishment of the highest severity. Hail Kerzer and again the same Duke. I'm not going to repeat that name because it's really, really hard to pronounce that name. Really, really hard to do. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I think I see a bit more wood over there on the left. And then I think we did everything we could do before we head towards the castle. Let's check the map really quickly. But I think we cleared out most of them, except of course for the... Ooh, the chests! Can I get to the chest from here? No, I'm gonna have to get to the chests by the other side of the castle. Up and around the castle grounds. But let's talk to these fellows. They seem to be on our sides. Then one day, gazing towards the horizon, the queen spotted Lyrian banners whipping about in the wind. At long last, she said with a smile. Meave resolved to speak with the commander, one Baronet Eldar. It was the first time they met, and the youth very much impressed her. Yet instead of questioning Eldar about the foe's troop movements, Reynard took the conversation down a seemingly irrelevant path. And how's your father, if I may ask? In good health, I hope. Yes, though he still nurses that bump he suffered while hunting last winter. Yet he's not one to complain. I'll tell him you asked. Irritated at the trivial nature of the conversation, Meave gave her horse a dose of her reins and cantered off. Hmm. Once Eldar and his men were safely behind them, she took Reynard aside. Why did he... I think he had his reasons. Reynard, this is no time for gossip and pleasantries. We are at war. Okay. Yes, Your Majesty. And in such times, little should be taken at face value, even a man's name. Get to the point, Reynard. Eldar's father died a month past. His son, I venture, should have known as much. But that means... oh, the bastard. Impeccable accent, though. I fear he's rather representative of what we face. Nilfgaardian spies are ever well prepared. Yeah, Tell that me, was how did nicely you know? done. He wears no mourning on his armor. We're not for that. I dare say I might never have guessed. What are your orders, Your Grace? To observe these Nilfgaardian mummers? Must say, we really need to trust Reynard on stuff like that. Um, send scouts after them. They're to be watched closely. They're to be left alone. Yeah, send scouts after Assemble them. Assemble a force. Tell them to follow our new allies. Observe them closely. As you wish, Your Grace. We're gonna lose a few soldiers, probably. Reynard scouts did as ordered watching the false Lyrians while themselves remaining unseen. Soon after, a scout returned with news that the false Lyrians seemed headed for Rastberg, a castle several leagues to the north. Rastberg. So yeah, that was a bit of a strange encounter, but uh, still. Barn, granary, black clads burnt it all down. And still, we're gonna take a few of your resources, madam. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so weird. I do, I do really apologize, madam, for stealing all your stuff. But uh, I'm the queen, after all. To me, lady, on hands and knees, they, they just laughed. We offend their emperor some ways, your majesty. House. Yeah. Okay. So that's everything she has to say. Moving on, because we're still... Is this Rostberg Castle then, or is this something else? What is this? Because it is quite a big castle. And a bit of resource. Wait, it, it usually says on the bottom when we enter. I, I totally missed it. So let's go out. And let's go back in. Does it say now? Rostberg. Okay, so this is Rostberg Castle. So those are those same spies again, probably. So let's have a, have a little chat with those fellows. The false Lyrians approached Rasberg Castle. They sought to convince the defenders to open the gate. As their commanders negotiated with the commander on the ramparts, the remaining infiltrators crouched hidden behind a wall, awaiting the signal to rush forth. Time for Baronet Elder to join his falsely claimed father, muttered the queen. Follow me! And there we go. Let's take out these Nilfgaardian spies. Short in battle, Rosberg Castle was of great strategic import. Whoever held it controlled the road between the Lyrian capital and Rivia as well as river transport on the Yavina. 
The fact that Nilfgaardian attempts to seize it in the early days of the war proved they had familiarized themselves with the enemy's territory and had long prepared for its occupation. So, uh, a battle against spies, that's not gonna be that strong, I suppose. They found us! And there we go. Ooh, the Sightman and Pikeman actually transformed into something else. The next time an enemy uses an order ability, boost self by two and gain two armor. And then of course the Black Infantry Arbalest has orders as well, but it has only one charge. So let's start this fight like we usually do. So we place uh, a few units to bolster our, uh, our just our numbers a bit. So the war rank, although I want to start with the regiment drummer. Yeah, let's do that first. Army's a waste of time for regiment one. drummer. Let's get the warhammer ah! up and get um, it's blitz unit. So let's get the Wagenberg down. So I can start clearing out that first row there. So we did boost that one unit, Dude, but it's God! fine. And then, of course, that thing. Uh, let's see. Let's just get the Wagenberg. No, wait, what? I just put the Wagenberg up top. Ah, it doesn't matter. There we go. So, two damage on the Derlin. Yeah, let's just go for the Derlin foot soldiers a bit. Or start whittling down the Enforcer's armor. There we go. And then play another unit. Well, let's just go with the plans. Just go with the war wagon and spawn it on the row Can't over here. And then end the turn. It's annoying that we didn't get to use... Because the wagon... Or maybe that's not, that's not a blitz unit. Yeah, okay, that's the problem. That's not a blitz unit. Okay, okay, fair enough. So let's just use the forager. Yeah, I'm gonna use the forager to... Could use a few drummers. No. Drummer Left. first. Right. Now let's use Left. Neve Warhammer right. again to put another... Or you know, the... Yeah, the, the drummer, the drummer. Let's get the drummer out first. Uh, and... And the third. Another cavalry. So that just keeps boosting itself whenever something happens over there. Uh, let's get another drummer out. Let's put it right over uh, here. Again and again and again. Then use Lord Caldwell, Count Caldwell, to put them in between Keep the war count, wagon. Tiberius. And the Arbalest, put the War Wagon over here, start filling up that row, and then the Arbalest uh, does 8 damage now, so that goes over there. And that's pretty much it. Ooh, how the hell did that happen? How the hell did that happen? Is that his ability? If no unit is marked, okay. Mark the lowest enemy after three turns on turn start, transform it into an Alba pikeman and move it to your side. Okay, so that's what his ability does. Then the regiment. Oh, yeah, I should have used her ability first. No biggie, no biggie. Because I still have one more drummer, but I'm going to have to be careful. Uh, so that's nine damage. Let's use that on this thing. Then use her ability. And get Raynard up top, because I think Raynard is a blitz unit as well. Yeah, there we go. Raynard. Start damaging a whole lot of stuff. Then get the drummer down. Army's a waste of time for one like me. And end the turn right there. Yeah, let's destroy the one over here. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. That's that. Then we use the Regiment Drummer to get Rainer down of the field. And onto... I can actually put one over there as well, but that's just too... Her Majesty is exceptional. 
And then we can use just the Arbalest we have here. Oh no, we did use one already. So let's, you know what, let's just use one of the orders then. That's a pikeman, sadly enough. Let's just put that I'm down. I'm coming, I'm coming. And that fills up that row completely, which might be a problem sooner rather than later. Let's end the turn. There, that goes again. It actually goes rather high. So, with that done, let's use the Lyrian Merlot. You know what? No. Let's put down the Arbalest. So that's going to be... Uh, nine damage, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, nine damage. On... Yeah, I can't do anything with the boost, the, the defended guy. So let's just take care of one of those Dalen foot soldiers. There we go. Use Meave's ability just to have all the loyal abilities triggered again because I can't do anything else with that. And there we go. It does boost them as well, which is sad. But in a minute, we're going to be able to uh, capitalize on all of that. I do need one of my units to die, actually, because <laughs> I'm actually full. So boost the lowest ally by the power of the highest ally. Here we go. So that gives us 22 points again. And that's pretty much all I can do, because everything else is blocked off. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's 22 points gone. Down the shitter. Discipline. That is what you folk lack. Well, I got what I wanted. Uh, let's use the drummer again. The one that's al almost dying. And place another Arbalest down. I'm a so that's also 9 damage. Uh, let's do that on... There's nothing that actually does anything fancy. So let's just do that on the Dale and Foot Soldiers. Use Meave again. Just to have those all triggered. Don't really care at this point. And I don't have any blitz units left. Oh yeah, the Sightmen are blitz. And that destroys whatever that was. I don't know what that was. And then I can actually use an... I need to use another card. Uh, there we go. And then end the turn. He passed, which means we just won the battle. There we go. The castle is secure, that was a prolonged battle. Shortened battle, they call that, just because it's one round, but because of all those uh, interworking cards, those cards the that work off each other. Themselves in a clinch. Took a while. As boiling oil and tar rained down on them from the walls, they attempted to retreat. Yet Meave's halberdiers cut off their path, and at the fight's end, Meave was victorious. The garrison commander now knelt by the body of the purported baronet Eldar, in truth, a Nilfgaardian spy. He shook his head in disbelief. He, he addressed me by name, knew our watchwords. Why, if you hadn't come along, your grace, I fear even to think on it. Let this be a lesson then. Trust no one, not a living soul. So yeah. It's a really, really incredible tactic by the Nilfgaardians to impersonate the Lyrians like that. left Rasberg in mightily low spirits. They now knew well that Nilfgaard's spies were no less a threat than its heavy cavalry, than its war machines that spit fire. Yeah, because they can completely infiltrate a castle with only a few men and take it out from the inside, which is horrible, of course. And then, sadly... We uh, lose morale because of what the the narrator just told us. Milady, if I may, the enemy yet lurks. You must bolster your force. You must incorporate a detachment from my unit. And there we go, four more units. Does he have anything else to say? Oh, the times, the world, the day. Can't even tell friend from foe. Treachery round every corner. Indeed. My lads may have more mounts and machines, but they've no honor, not an ounce. That is also true, because it's a, a really dastardly tactic to do that. Uh, I think we can actually get that golden chest now, if we just move along the castle walls here, just behind the castle. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, we got that golden chest 
which houses ooh Trehern var Vdifir. So that was the uh, the guy that read us the threat that we uh, just told him to fuck off. So the the Nilfgaardian envoy. That's the word I was looking for. There we go. We, need, we did get a nice bit of gold and wood from all of that. So let's just check out the command tent really quickly. Abbot command tent, uh, I of course mean the workshop. There we go. Good boost to trinkets by one. Training grounds, we can't do anything else with that. And the other thing is just increasing Meave's movement on the map. But I'm, really, I'm a really patient man and I don't want to spend all those resources to uh, just increase her movement. So... Yeah, I guess we should improve the number of trinkets Meave can equip. Um, although I don't really have anything I really want to use just yet. So let's just, let's just wait on that and sit on our resources a bit. There we go. And with that done, I guess oh, we just move on. on. Where are our reinforcements? Why does Willem not ride out to face the foe, relieve besieged towns? I can't say, Your Grace. We haven't had a single scroll from the Prince. Gods be damned. I've the impression I'm alone in fighting the Black Clads. But maybe there's another explanation for that and your son has a reason for not being there. So there's clearly a water hag over there. But what's this? Your majesty there, people inside undoubtedly locked themselves in to keep safe from the Nilf Gardens, but the devils have set it alight. You must do something, the roof is beginning to give away. Yeah, let's gather volunteers to aid the villagers. So we lose two troops, but the morale goes up, which we can definitely use, and we get another cart piece. Ooh, that looks like a Dimeridium bomb. It does look like a Dimeridium bomb. Hello. Family, keep a keen watch. Heard the thunder of hooves from the high road. Cries ferocious in a foreign tongue. That was really quiet. What of Prince Willem? Where is he? Why is he not come to relieve us? Well, we're still waiting on the poor bastard. What is this? Okay, seems like just a bit more supplies. So let's just take this side route. Seems like there's another question mark Meave's around here. Yeah. was riding through a narrow gully when a shrill cry cut the air. And then in order! The gully came alive and soldiers in black armor rushed forth. A cry in turn went up and down Meave's ranks. Ambush! So ambush it is! Another batch of Nilfgaardian soldiers, short in battle, the Lyrians close in a tight circle, forming a barrier between the Queen and her foe. Meave was safe, and yet she could not sit idle. She spurred on her steed and rode headlong into the throes of battle, in search of the Nilfgaardian commander. She had hoped to ask the Blackclad a few questions, knife to his throat, if necessary. So, uh, another uh, bit of Nilfgaardian style attack. Which means that it's probably similar to what we did before. Uh, should probably learn from our previous mistakes and just be careful with what units actually use. That's pretty much all I need. So let's finish redrawing. Defensive formation. So that's a trap it's card. An important lesson in this, but what? Uh, let's start by filling out the top row with the Rivian pikemen, so I don't pull them accidentally Here's later it. on. Again. Then use the Warhammer and get. Um, let's start simple and just get the other regiment drummer out of there. And then the turn. Because that trap card is really unnerving me at the moment. 101, 102, 103. And the standard bearer. The four turn start if there is an Guardian Interceptor on the battlefield, reset its ambush and spawn a base copy of it. So that thing, probably. The Nilfgaardian Interceptor. So these units gain resilience, which doesn't really help, because we're at one round, which means that, yeah, that's nothing to brag about. Then let's just use a drummer. Left, right, left, right. And end the turn. There we have an infantry. So we need to be careful. I should probably destroy it. Before turn start, there's a Guardian Interceptor reset its ambush. There it is. Gonna have to be careful. Don't have that much things to go on, so let's just use that. Put it next to the Rivian Pikeman. Not gonna get through its armor, sadly. 
Which means that I should probably start attacking that armored cavalry. Yeah, let's do that. And then use Meave's ability. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it. And get another Arblast out of there. So, of course, the armored cavalry gets their uh, armor back. But that's not too much of a problem. And then, of course, the ambush resets. So, we're gonna learn from that. We're gonna learn from that. And just use... That's an order ability, so I don't want to use that just yet. I'm just gonna put one Arblast down before we do anything else. One. And attack the back armored cavalry with that and kill it outright. Then we're gonna use the Regiment Drummer. Pull out the Arbalest and just start firing at Give the armored cavalry. So just fast forwarding a bit. We're uh, getting ambushed again, obviously. But uh, I think we might be able to uh, take those out in the next turn. So we filled up the board a bit more. Uh, I do get another Forager right now. So let's do that in a second. So let's just use the Forager and destroy Reynard with it. One man's battle so we get is another man's right 27. Then we use the uh, ability of Meave to just ah! get another... Oh, I still have Arbalests in there. So let's just boost one of the Arbalests. Then we get the Regiment Drummer. Get an Arbalest out and just leave it over there, I think. Because that's seven, right? Let's just, just put it over here just Abolist to be safe. To and destroy one of the Ambushes. And then use the other Regiment Drummer. Yeah. To get another Sightman out. And just put him ah, right over there. To me, old lady. And then turn. So there goes the ambush unit again and spawned another Off copy of it. Front yet again. So those keep going. Then we can get Lord Caldwell out. Put him in between the forager and the sightman. If you insist. Use the forager to destroy the other oh, forager, which gives me one more space. Oh come on, I could have used that last card. That was a bit buggy. Because of course the space was freed up by the forager. But uh Sadly, that didn't happen. So let's end the turn. And now we can finish this off with the Lyrian Merlot. Uh, but I think I'm going to do the Lyrian Horn first, because that's going to boost all my units again. Although I do lose a bit of damage, but yeah, no biggie, no biggie. So let's just do this. And that damages all those. And then we can use Meath one more time to just fire off all the, all the Arbalests. And that boosts those two sidemen as well. So end the turn. And then we have a forager of 40, uh, 40 power. So we're going to use the uh, heal an ally and boost it by the amount healed. That's also nice. But then we can use the Lyrian Merlot to boost one of those uh, four power dudes by 40. There we go. 44. And pass that. We just crushed the enemy I underneath our boots. I need answers. And there we go. Victory. After the skirmish, the Queen's troops brought several Nilfgaardian prisoners before her. Reynard, who had the best command of their mongrel tongue, interrogated. His first question? How many battalions were marching on Dravograd? Kes Zagdran Ep Dravograd Ven. The prisoners whispered feverishly, then one spoke on their behalf. They would answer no questions until the Queen pledged to free them in return. The Lyrian soldiers saw this as arrogance, and said as much. Conditions they're giving us now? Sons of whores! I say, we find a tree with a strong bow, several- Promise to free the prisoners, or order your men to hang the prisoners. Um, we're gonna lose morale, if we promise to free the prisoners. But I feel like this is an opportunity to add some Nilfgaardian troops to our own deck. Because if we hang them, we don't get the information and we don't have the opportunity to get something out of them. And morale, we can reset morale, even if 
that goes to the lowest level. So let's promise to free the Ignoring prisoners. Ignoring the objections of her retinue, Meave pledged what the soldiers wished. They, in turn, admitted their commander had pushed forward ahead of the army's core force. He now awaited reinforcements that would let him take Dravagrad. The prisoners claimed these units would march through the village of Turnifen. Mm -hmm. To lay there in ambush, hold them. They could not join forces, Reynard whispered, leaning in towards the Queen. We would gain the advantage for the decisive battle. Meave had obtained invaluable information, while the prisoners would gain their freedom. Or so it seemed at the time. Or so it seemed at the time. That was that's not that's not positive, is it? So yeah, if the information is correct, indeed we can cut off the uh, reinforcements and destroy them before they can join the rest of the army. And it also seems like the army that is waiting outside of Dravograd is not enough to take the city. Order the prisoners execute out. So that's why we can still execute the prisoners. Order your men to free the prisoners or order the prisoners executed. I feel like Meave should keep her word. So let's... Mm. We got the information. Yeah, let's free the prisoners. I would ask you to pledge to not reveal our position to your commanders, said the Queen. Yet so eager were you to share your army's secrets with me that your word is of no value. Leave my sight. Once the Queen's words had been translated, the prisoners breathed a sigh of relief. Freed, they ran as fast as they could towards a wood, glancing back to make certain there was no pursuit. But Meave kept her promise. Meave kept her promise. And therefore we, are, of course, kept our promise. So we lost all morale we had. Um, because of course it resets after a battle and then we lose, we lost more of it because of the, the decision we made. Um, but I don't think the soldiers would have liked me executing them anyway after we got the information. So yeah, that's not good because that means that every unit we have will lose one health when we stumble upon another battle but we'll see you about that next time because we're gonna take a little break so thank you guys enormously for watching and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and i uh, hope to see you guys next time on the next episode of throne breaker the witcher tales goodbye yeah,